Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another fucking Wi-Fi battle, narrated by yours truly, Desk and today we're gonna look at round 5 against, of course, the um, Bristol Bidoofs against the Saray Lithio. I don't really know who this guy is, uh, other than named than Tom, of course, but one thing that stands out is, god damn that team, god fucking damn. Um, Eric now is going to play very aggressive actually, when I say very, very aggressive, I mean he has really now four Pokemon stands out to be offensively built, pressuring, and Tom, this guy, some bitch, <laughs> this team is easily going to win the Lithios, like I'm just going to go out of a whim here and say that that's it is, um, this team alone, I've mean, got Chansey, Mega Sableye, Breloom, Landris, uh, Diggersby and Cure Black. I mean, my fucking god. He, there is really. Wow. I'm trying to find the words here, but it all comes down to the fundamentals, and the easiest word to say is. Uh, this, 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 is this is how you touch on an OU team. This is a very, very complete, higher tiered team. So, Eric is gonna step up his game here, and. Um, yeah. Let's just see what freaking happens. First of all, how long is this battle? This is gonna be a... With those aggressive pokes, it should be a fast battle. It's 30 turns. It's 30 turns. It's at least the fastest one of the ones I'm uploading. So, alright. That's aggressive. That's aggressive. Um, I do believe that Charizard do outspeed naturally, but it could be Scarfed. Scarfed is very, very... Common. Now there's the fusion bolt. So basically, what we're gonna looking for is if it has an item or not, and that's life orb. Right. So that means Charizard can outspeed. That's something to keep in mind. So Melissa is gonna come in here, and um, here's an Iron Head. It is the standard set, Cure and Black, and I don't see that set being so dangerous. I'm saying that like it matters, but he needs to switch out, he can't keep going with that kind of pressure. Guessing Sableye is gonna come in here. Uh, actually, Chansey is gonna be some bitch gonna <laughs> come in. Chansey is one of those Pokemon that just <sighs> can't be stopped. Although I do believe we have the access of Psy Shock here. Um, he's not gonna even gamble it. I guess I know he has Substitute Call Mine. But he's not gonna do that game. Alright, and he's gonna get his three rocks up, stopping the shards out, of course, for him. Coming in, in and out as it wishes. Hmm. Now, boo blah. Alright, that, that is the same lie. And shards are gonna get this big evolution. And of course, with tough claws and whatnot. Just damn it, go for the flare blitz. Don't do the dragon dance. Oh, you could have. You had a chance. You have the chance to take it out before it got massively bulky. When I say massively, I mean mass. It puts on mass. Alright, the foul play is definitely gonna take away the, the substitute here, sadly. Hmm. And of course, with the trick room, um, Sableye is not faster, and it went for. <sighs> Oh god. What have you created, Eric? What have you created? <laughs> Alright, another fall play. Man, if he should take this much better. Um, now the Twisted Dimension is back to normal. And uh, guessing the app, precisely, the Cure is gonna come back in. Because the Skull is resisted and uh, Ice Beam is neutral hit for it. And Toxic. Sweet. Risky play indeed, considering the magic bounce on the save line. Nice. Either that was blind luck or a very, very nice prediction. Very nice. Alright, the Melissa's gonna come back on here and they're gonna take a future no bolto. And um, I do believe Chrysella can take this fairly well. And I'm gonna go for free moonlight. Hmm. I really feel bad for cure him. It's one of those Pokemons that, if it works without hindrance, it's super dangerous. 
But um, with the stall that Eric has naturally in his team, uh, it can't really break through. And, you know, I do believe Light Orb is too risky. I really don't like that. It needs more power. So there's the Moonlight. And like I said here, I can see Psyshock, but I don't see it doing enough damage on the Chansey, sadly. So, alright, we're gonna do this dance all over again. Now, I do believe with uh, with everything said, it feels like the Sableye um, should be able to deal with this uh, anyway. And it feels like Eric has Rue's Sword Stance. Alright, Landorus Eye. You really want to switch that freely? That's... That's stupid. That was really, like, I don't usually say that, but that that's how you die. Like, that that that's how you fall. You can't switch in Landorus like that. This Charizard is really just doing it. Oh, there's a... Mm. Oh, I that that crit definitely matters. Sableye should definitely be able to take one of those hits. Ah shit! Ah shit! He has one good turn left in him. He should probably have quick attack on this thing. I'm guessing it's not really worth risking since that stuff props up. But um, Tom or um, Saray Lithio, actually, I think he made a very bad call and lost two major players earlier. Actually, not early, it's mid game, but losing Landris is pretty huge. It, that was a, not a play he should have made. So, right, there's a trick room. I um, guess he needed that to not fear the QRM nor this Diggers B, even though he actually got that massive uh, <laughs> sword stance here. But he has the Ice Beam, and that's easily 50%. And EQ? Ooh, you think he would switch out? Ah, uh, it's a rough call. I would have gone for return. Alright, that's actually the biggest be out of the way. Ah, uh, it's too bad. That's too bad. He actually lives. And smack that bitch up. Melissa is gonna fall. <laughs> wow. How? Alright, and life orb. Sweet mother. So it came down, that was a weird mid-max, I guess, from the Cresselia. Um, right. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, he's gonna switch out, yeah. Breloom, the massive threat. To Betty. Right, the room of this. And we're gonna get Spore? Yeah, not affected by safety goggles. Boom! Nice, Eric. You were prepared for that. And this thing is back. Like, Chansey is not necessarily a big threat, but it stops whatever something can do. So that's really, really tough. And of course, I'm predicting the switch out because Moonblast did nothing. But sadly, he goes for the wish. Oh, Bullet Seed, alright. It could kill here if it gets three hits. Oh, motherfucker. And that's one dead Breloom, isn't it? Right, that's Sash at least. I am really, really feeling Surrey Lithio's agony as of right now. He should have. He should really have the better or stronger plays as of right now, but it doesn't seem to come around. It just. It doesn't seem to come around. And there's a toxic. Even with natural cure, of course, it shouldn't really be an issue. But uh, Chansey can't do anything here. He has a superior HP, but that's it. Sesame Toss is not doing enough. He has access to Wish. And uh, of course, Toxic could be troublesome for the both of them. So there it is. There's a wish. Um, I don't think we have a lot more turns here. 
So the Curum got the Chansey, and I think we got the Brillo intact with 1 HP. And that, those are the three last pokes. So, alright, he's gonna switch out to Betty. I think something needs to break through now. And maybe, of course, the Conqueror is the guy to do just so. And so there's a Toxic, hopefully, has guts now, which means that he's just gonna say, Bitch, get ready. <laughs> and Bush, of course, come through. And uh, I think we now are before a potential sweep. I don't see any of his Pokemon be able to stand out anything here. Conkleder is just that kind of guy. So KFC is gonna come and he's gonna suck on a Dream Punch here. And um, there is really nothing Brelum nor the um, Chazzy can do from this range. So I think Conkleder is gonna bring it home. Which is awesome, considering our previous match we watched where Conkleder just had nothing to say to the Mandibus. So, yeah, and I actually found out after this battle that this was the Surrey's Lithio's uh, first loss. And I will say this, um, his team is really good and I do believe that he can play much more openly without really losing. But uh, he met his better match this time around against a player who, I guess, had a little luck with Alfred's crit, but really relied on anything else besides speed to be able to win and it worked of course in his favor here here he goes for softball here I really believe that the damage output from Conkluder if it is guts should not only be just about enough it should be blood everywhere but he actually managed to take it but he is not gonna be able to take another one and the toxic is breaking up but it's really is not gonna matter and that is GG so nice game to both Eric and Tom um, like I said there um, yet again we have a team that is fairly bulky but the bulkier team was the team that lost with Tom uh, Chance and Mega, Mega Save Light Core is super super good but the crit outrage from Charizard definitely matter a whole lot here and um, it is what it is. It sucks, but sometimes it is those simplest things that really does matter. And of course, in contrast with, like I said there, switching in um, landers like that was a bad call. Landers might have not be the biggest player this match. It still hurts enough to do a lot of damage against a lot of this guy's team. So it was a very bad play, and it didn't necessarily end up biting him in the ass. But it sure as hell felt like that. Uh, but anyway guys, I want to thank everybody for watching these three battles. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you didn't, make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.